Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone. Hello. Hello Jim, amazing to be here with you sir. And here we are again, back on the road to WrestleMania. Only a few weeks away now. And the, the wrestlers really, really building themselves up ready for it. More determined than ever. We're having classic match after classic match. What will happen tonight? Can't wait to see. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we've got an interesting night. All the champs have got a night off tonight, except Noalis, of course, who has to defend it every single Monday Night Claw, the Wemdorp Open Championship. But, um, yeah, we've uh, all the champs, you know, Rick. There's no Rick. There's no mystery. There's no North and South. There's no... Uh, whoever the other ones are. <laughs> um, chimp. Chim? Yeah. yeah, there's no chimp. It's all it's all the contenders tonight. So there you go. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> and yeah, you know they've uh, the champs got to rest up to be their um, in previous best uh, for WrestleMania. So uh, yeah, can't wait to see them back in action. And that's it. There's got to be a chance to find out who faces who as well. So. Here we go with the challenges today, except for this one. Noalius, back to his dominant best last week. Can whoever this challenger is actually put in a challenge for him? That is the question. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Underground Championship. Oh, it's Ripper Doc. The big Wow, we've not seen him for a while. Rumor has it that he has been patching people up backstage. <laughs> However you want to take that, but uh, we've not seen him in the ring. Could this be an incredible return to action immediately becoming Wemdope champion? Could you imagine that? He is the he is one of the biggest fans of Hotel. The f maybe he's not famous 80s TV show that has become famous in Blood Bowl circles <laughs> due to Hart of his streaming it all the time. <laughs> We've got two glorious emotes thanks to it. What a what a ridiculously tall order though if he does want to become the Wemdo champion. Few have even got close. Few have even managed a two count against this man. <laughs> he has seemed absolutely immortal, impervious yeah. to pain and defeat and challenge. The only one I'd say that's really, really got close, Jim, so far is one Frost Lord Army. And amazingly, after all he went through, even he didn't get it done. Yeah. Yeah, this is asking a lot for Rupert Doc, but at least he'll be able to, you know, attend his own wounds after the fight. <laughs> 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 But yeah, it's a it's a tough ask for anyone. Absolute monster, Noalias. Certainly, certainly is. Ah, yes, of course the, uh, the the Artemis hotness as well. The three the three main characters of Hotel left. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish I wish you could just stream hotel like all day every day. It'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? <laughs> just everything like Mammy Vice. Imagine if you could stream Miami Vice. Oh, that'd be the best thing ever. Crockett and Tubbs and all. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> just like an '80s version of those telewatching shows. I can't think what it's called now. What's that show where people watch television? Oh yeah. Um... God, I don't know. On the box or something? I, I can't remember. What is it? Is, is it box? Goggle box. Goggle box. box. Yeah, they yeah. Yeah. the box. <laughs> yeah, 80s goggle box, man. Stream it. Yeah, that'd be amazing. It would be incredible, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's awful. Have you not watched it, but it's pretty good, actually. I enjoy it. Like, it's obviously fake and over the top, but, like, some of the people in it are pretty funny. Boy, howdy. Yeah, exactly, Steve. Oh, God, How good would that be? <laughs> it would be the best thing ever. <laughs> <Genuinely>. <laughs> it's just you can't do it, can you? Bloody damn copyrights. How far back would you have to go where the copyrights have expired? 
a long, a long time, <laughs> to be honest. There's, it, there's very, very little that isn't. There's some things that, like, on technicalities are. There's some, there's some things that, yeah, there's some things, but the people, they can, like, they can, uh, they can also, like, you know, just update them and stuff, so generally. Oh, yeah, you know, um, Cowboy Bebop? I tried to buy it on DVD like 15 years ago. We're really going back here. And at the time, nobody had licensed it, licensed it in the UK. So it wasn't released and you could, and people could legally pirate it. You had to buy pirates and try and buy a decent copy because wow. it was actually legal to do so because no one had licensed it in the UK at that point. <laughs> Absolutely mine. bizarre, yeah. Oh, Ripper Doc getting so Oh, this is not good, Jim. Oh, this is not good. We oh, might have got the entire match. <laughs> I think we have. <laughs> oh god. I hope he's obtained his medical license. <laughs> oh god. Good night. Well, that lasted about as long as Artemis would have done with uh, Connie Selica, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bit good, this Duarius, Jim. <laughs> he's, he's not bad, is he? <laughs> did, did you set Ripper Doc to, uh, to play a one and you <laughs> I don't think he did anything. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, that was that was absolutely brutal. Holy moly. I I hope he has a decent challenge at WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah. You... Any time. <laughs> even, even Jimmy in the main event last week didn't give up that quickly. <laughs> Whoa. You rotter. You rotter, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was a massacre, wasn't it? Jesus. Oh, there you go. That was that. Was that. Um, <laughs> now we've got a pretty pretty cool three-way um, between Hancock, Storr, and Throweck. Oh, baby, Hancock. I think the the first time we've seen him back since he lost his title Jim. yeah yeah looking for looking to prove he's uh he's worthy of a rematch i guess here yeah i wasn't sure if he'd uh decide to go back after his title or uh try and step up to a to a more heavyweight division but here he is up against store the man that beat the new champion humorous chimp in his first pimp on blues weight match ever and then throw -ek. Uh, one of the uh, one of the greats, always up there in the plimp on plus weight division as well. So yeah, incredible triple threat this one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Throwick is something else, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just hope that uh, Store doesn't have any plans for him in the kitchen. Oh my god, yeah, that, he's in a lot of trouble, isn't he? I didn't realize. I didn't realize until you said it, but yeah. <laughs> oh god. Is he Throick. in hot water, Jim? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. Very, very interested to see if Hancock's as good as he ever was as champion without the title on the line, and whether he's been training for the last few weeks or whether he's really kind of let himself go, drowned his sorrows. He's I, a I scouser, so yeah, he's probably been on like meth or something. <laughs> <laughs> No, no offense to Throak, but I'm very interested to see just how good Store is after he beat the champ, and I'm very interested to see how good Hancock still is after losing the title. They're the two interesting stories for me in this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Store's face is pretty terrifying. I, I can agree with that. That's that's what Volk tells me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much everything about Star's terrifying. <laughs> Here he is, the ex champ. Recently made his return to streaming with some Elden Ring. It's been pretty good, actually. Mm, interesting. The next big thing. Yeah, when will we see his blood bowl return? He uh, he sure is getting good at the old blood bowls, but uh, busy in real life at the moment. So we're we're having to wait on that front. 
And we've also had to wait a good few weeks in the JFW to see the greatest Plim Plum Pluserweight champion ever since his dethroning. Mm -hmm. He's, he's quite the Among Us player, hasn't he? He's, he has appeared on streams of I Are Among Us where he, uh, <laughs> he is sometimes extremely toxic. <laughs> but he's, <laughs> but he's yeah, pretty small uh, when it comes to figuring stuff out. I'll give him he, that. He, he's got an incredible gut, uh, as he likes to say. Um, yeah, his gut feels so often correct in Among Us. Uh, I was worried we weren't going to see him in those either. It took a couple of weeks and then, yeah, made his return and uh, has certainly murdered many of us since then. <laughs> Oh, man. Not the typical body of a plim plum pluserweight here, Mr. Throik. <laughs> and we not have just weighed because him. it's made of cabbage. <laughs> we have weighed him. He is, in fact, the lightest of all the pluserweights. <laughs> yeah. 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 Amazingly, cabbage not weighing very much at all. No bones. <laughs> but, but that gives him the added flexibility for those high-flying moves, doesn't it? It does. It does, and it allows him to absorb more damage as well. You know, a punch not having quite the same effect. <laughs> like punching sand, as PC would say to Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shaoling monks do do that, so there, there must be something to it. <laughs> there you go. Hello, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of punching sand. <laughs> Arguing with the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> He meant it nicely, though. He, he assures us. Flows <laughs> <laughs> in the house with his two commands. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. Wow. Oh! Store going st straight for the cabbage. <laughs> oh, but there's the counter from Hancock. Oh, good start. The ex-champ immediately showing us that he hasn't lost it yet, but Storr counters the stomp. The oh, mud hole stomp. Oh, man. And it's out oh, of the frying God. pan into oh. the fire for... Oh! For throwing, but what a count! No! And then double underhook suplex. Proving... Oh, having to break up there, Hancock. But yeah, throw it. Proving that he belongs. In with these two greats. <laughs> Two modern day greats of the Plim Plom Pluserweight division. After shaking up and the uh, the classics Muppet and Lebred Mask have been champions for so long. These guys now changing the face of the scene. Yep. Just imagine if that face is Storrs. <laughs> Storrs is, I believe, one of about three wrestlers in the JFW to have ever eaten cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have you know that uh, here in the UK, at least, you always get a little bit of cabbage in your in your kebabs. So even Dimmy will have had cabbage in the chair. <laughs> I, I I think I suspect he may have picked it out, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Not if he was too drunk. <laughs> oh yeah, this is true. This is true. <laughs> Missed the odd piece. Oh, store! What a move! Go for the win, but Throx there doesn't need him. Great start, though, from Storr. <laughs> Brooke, again, having been thrown to the outside for a while, determined to show that he's got something to give and he can hang with these two. Storr with a counter, though. Brooke shrugging off the flying forearm. Spinning heel Whoa. kick and sends Storr crashing to the concrete. How many feet of concrete this week, Jim? Oh, uh, there's 23. 23, that's significant. Storm might be down for a while then. <laughs> and now Throck taking it to Hancock. Oh my goodness, could we be in for an upset? Could oh, we have counted out move. the winner of this match? Oh, Hancock move. in all sorts of trouble. Maybe the rush showing a little bit here. It's all Throck. Oh! <laughs> oh, it misses. What an effort. Oh, man. Oh. Right, pays the price, but Storr right there to make the break, and he's not trying to, Jim, it's over! Oh. <laughs> he's back! The champion is back! And he's won in record time! What a statement from Hancock! Oh my god! Oh, the Jim, this is going to be the quickest night of Monday Night Claw we've ever had! <laughs> yeah, it may well be! <laughs> Oh dear, absolute brain worms from Storm. Maybe he thought he was tagging with Flicky again and was waiting for the tag in and that's why he didn't break it up. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, Storm. If 
anyone doubted that Hancock is the greatest Plim Plum Blues weight of all time in the JFW, look upon him with awe and respect now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Puts away Throwek, an awesome JFW Plim Plum Blues weight wrestler. And in the line of store, who won against the champion only two weeks ago. And of course, he only lost his title due to coming out first in an elimination chamber. I think it's only a matter of time until he takes back what's rightfully his. Absolutely, yeah. Incredible, incredible performance by uh, Hancock there. The next big thing. And, uh, yeah, may maybe Stort, distracted by the thoughts of sauerkraut, of course. Uh, <laughs> very popular with the Germans, and me. I do enjoy a bit of sauerkraut, so the, yeah, that, that, maybe that put him off. Who knows? Oh, dear. Leffy, if we ever make a tag team of Rick and Hancock, that is definitely what it's going to be called. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to see Rick Cock. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, <laughs> now we've got CBT, something else I don't want to see. <laughs> this is the unnatural snackers. <laughs> oh man, Muppets, Muppets monobrow looking absolutely glorious there, I have to say. That is something to behold, isn't it? It's it's absolutely uh, incredible, Jim. Rumor is that it is two normal eyebrows, but because Muppet's so small, they have no, there's no space on his face for the gap in between. <laughs> that's, that's probably true. <laughs> uh, no, fully enough, Sean he, he he is a self-confessed snacker. It's just that he, you know, he, I don't know if it's metabolism or whatever, but uh, he just he just stays he stays small despite. Uh, Greedily consuming crisps, etc. <laughs> that is a woman. Yes, this uh, Sheila is the trainer of Cocky. Uh, you can. I'll, I'll link. I'll link you the video. Actually, I'll just. I'll, I'll Google it here. Unashamedly, my favourite tag team champions of all time, CBT. It has been a while now, though. They have been out of the title picture, going on a few months. Can they start to rebuild here? It's going to be a tough one. It sure is. And, uh, yeah, there's the link. There's the link to the thing. That is Ar getting fit with Arthur Dunga. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that Sheila is his personal trainer. <laughs> So, Jim, what do you reckon? Will this match go on more than 21 seconds? I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it should do. I mean, they're both great tag teams, aren't they? We've seen we've seen some amazing things from the Snackers, and obviously CBT have just been imperious at times. Yeah, I, uh, I, I actually have CBT down as the favourites here. Nothing against the Snackers. I think they're going to put in a great match, and uh, they certainly could win it. But, uh, but CBT just one of, if not the all-time greats, in the tag team division. Um, of course, we thought one of the Snackers had become world champion recently, Jim, only to be proven wrong. Yeah. It sure looked like J5. It was almost like he was doing a, an impression of him whilst winning the title. And previously, of course, Mystery had been revealed to be J5 in years gone by, but this time it was somebody else. And J5 came out to take him out angrily. Couldn't believe somebody was doing mystery mystery that wasn't him. And uh, so now we know that it isn't him, but we don't have a clue who it actually is. Yeah, it's, it's one of the great mysteries of our time. <laughs> who is mystery? <laughs> you'd, you'd think it isn't Satfield or Muppet due to, uh, due to J5 attacking him. Um, but then maybe, maybe they haven't told him. Who knows? Maybe it was just 4D chess. Who knows? It could, could be, be. You know, could be. It could be misdirection. Could be Muppet. <laughs> Where we, were, we were supposed to have it proven that it wasn't Skuro last week, but he got uh, intercepted backstage by Jackball, so uh, that never got proven. Yeah, absolutely. Anything's possible, Volk, in the GFW. <laughs> absolutely anything is possible. 
Yeah, the, there are those that believe it's extra arms bar. <laughs> Some Some, someone leave. mentioned maybe Goliath Games has taken one of the titles and is now pushing. Oh no, Goliath Games was in that match, wasn't he? We do know five contenders that it isn't. Yep. And it's the five other contenders in that match, so it isn't Goliath Games, sorry. Yeah, we we don't know that it that it isn't Theresa May, for example. <laughs> no, abs absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Great start from J five, working over cocky. Oof. The kind of moves that uh, might make you a world champion one day. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it was Rick disguised as Goliath. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, additional twist. Great, uh, great tagging though. That's what CBT are all about. So much more than the sum of their parts. And Moradam getting in, and he was starting to work over J5, but look at that for a maneuver to put himself right back in control. First of all, Wardown Cocky now working over Moradam. J5 on fire. He ate the right snacks before this one, Jim. <laughs> yeah, absolutely incredible stuff. Now going in to make the tag to Satterfield. That is just superb from J5. I'd say timed to perfection and Satterfield with a, uh, I was going to say a massive boot, but in fact a tiny boot to Moradam's head. <laughs> Unbelievably tiny feet, Satterfield. Oh, self-rock bottom though. What a reversal from Moradam. Could do it making the tag and doesn't and is taken down by a shoulder tackle. And then the, uh, the desperation tag intercepted, cut off by Satterfield. Moradam with the counter boot. Oh, wow. Look at that. Whipping Sarah into the corner. Here comes the tag. Now, no. Reversed. Moradam in the corner. Boots his way out. Now's the tag. Brilliant from Here CBT. Satterfield too quick for Cocky on this occasion, though. Dragging him over to his corner. <laughs> the worst news for Cocky. They've run out of snacks. Oh, boy. <laughs> A hungry snackers team is not what you want. Oh, talking of which, Jim, I was thinking about North and South this week because it was actually in the news that Greg's announced their prices are going up. Oh, boy. I, I really don't know how long they can remain tag team champions whilst that's the case. Oh, God, yeah, that is a nightmare for those two. <laughs> well, it's a nightmare for Descotti and then and then Ansi's got to somehow somehow motivate him with, with, with yeah. less Greg's. I Maybe they'll make more money as champions now. Maybe they've got to remain champions to, to, yeah. to fund themselves, their yeah. lavish lifestyle. Yeah. Look at this from CBT. Oh, <laughs> Satterfield in all sorts of trouble. Oh, saying that, immediate reversal on, uh, on Moradam. And it looks like he's going for the tag to J5. No, booted out the corner. <laughs> Satterfield been in there quite a while for him. Yeah. Lovely elbow himself, though, out the corner. This is what Tag Team Wrestling's all about. Corner reversals. <laughs> there we go again. Boot to Satterfield out the corner. Moradam now trying to take him over for the tag. Realizes it's going to take too long. Snapmare takedown. Kick to the back. Satterfield no cells. He feels no pain. Moradam too small. <laughs> and here Might we go. Might need to try and find J5. a weak spot. And yeah, this is it, Jim. J5 in. Moradam. Oh. oh. And uh, whereas that's normally a tiny boot to the head, Moradam's head is really small, so it's actually about a regular sized boot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for Moradam, it's pretty big. J5 doing a number on him now. I do think the Snackers have had the, uh, the slightly better of the actual uh, interactions in the ring. CBT have managed the tags at the right time. But overall, uh, the most damage done by the Snackers. Sometimes, though, Jim, they run out of uh, stamina when that sugar rush is over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? The, uh, the come down afterwards hits them hard sometimes. It is. When they crash, they crash hard. Moradam, really, really in trouble here, though, Jim. This is nasty. Oh, is. J5 going to the top. Top rope, Johnny. This is going to tell us a lot. Could be over. Oh. oh. You do not want someone that snacks as much as J5 to come down on you for the top rope like that. <laughs> you sure don't. Especially when you size a Moradam, that was a massive impact. He did amazingly to kick out. I'm surprised Cocky didn't go for the save. Now in the headlock, could tap from this. Could go to sleep. 
Desperately hanging in there. Sheila not making any efforts to distract the ref. Cocky not trying to break it up. Oh my goodness. Surely he can't survive a second one. This is cocky or nothing. Oh! Oh! oh. Cocky's in. Yeah. Cocky breaks it up. Oh! Is that oh, a Cleo? Cleo? <laughs> oh, Cleo! Oh my goodness. Surely it's over. All he's got to do is pin him. He's celebrating, Jim. He feels like it's over. Has he taken too long? If this oh. lands, it really, really is over this time. This has been one-sided. Oh, Pulls him to his feet. <laughs> oh, massive elbow. Oh, Morada pops up. What the hell? Where, where did he get that from? <laughs> Washes J5 in the corner, goes for the pin. It's not unbelievable. even a one count, Jim. Maradam almost done for, and on J5, not even a one count. Wow. Yeah, thick skull, yeah, the bionic elbow from the top rope. <laughs> Didn't even phase him, thick skull. He's a black orc <laughs> goblin, right. Either that or uh, on one of Rick's teams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't put it past Rick. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, there we go. The game changer. Oh, God. Suddenly, CBT not looking too bad. And he's going for the tag. Huh? Play from Maradam. <laughs> oh, God. It just hurts to watch that, doesn't it, sometimes? It, it really does. It really does. You know, a little bit pleasurable, but mostly hurts. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, oh, no. no. Not after what Maradam just did. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Shattered dreams. Oh. oh, lefty already gone, righty joins it. <laughs> Somehow, Satterfield, desperation kick out, he's going to the top. Oh my god. I'd say the ball's on this guy, but but no. <laughs> oh, he got oh, the knees up. The knees. That just feels like he's gonna, his knees are going to get shattered by, by J5's 300-pound body, but no, that apparently counts, is it? <laughs> He does. It, it did hold his knees after as if it hurt. Oh my goodness. Body blocked by J5. And here comes. Oh no. Here comes oh Sanfield. Moradam just strikes the ref, but it isn't going to help. Oh. It isn't going to help. Oh Hockey's down. God. Oh my god. Such oh. weight over such a small area as well. Incredible. Oh no. Oh, Cocky. Oh boy. It's the, it's the knee that beat. Tony plays poorly. Oh. oh my, oh my goodness, the height he gets on that is unreal. Pocky just completely out on his feet. No, counters the kick. Wow. Wow. Cocky out of nowhere, walking Satfield back to the corner, but he better not take too long. Yeah, sensible snapmare takedown. Drags him to his feet. That takes some strength. Whips him into a neutral corner. Beautiful clothesline to the back. This is really great by Cocky. No commentator's curse. There we go. <laughs> Satterfield powers out. It's got to be as well, hasn't it? Because Moradam is really hurt on the outside. Yeah. So I'm starting Cockey's to think Cocky might not be too much better off either. I uh -oh. really don't see how CBT win it from here. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. It's over, Jim. Snack mass. <laughs> Moradam's going to try and save. J5 going for Moradam. Oh. Moradam fails, but Cocky kicks out. <laughs> Sheila loving it. Proud of her. Proud of her boy. <laughs> oh, Moradam. Down and out. Nobody to save Cocky now. Trapped in a, a vice grip on his head. Satfield can find one more thing. But Cocky reverses. Holy, holy. Not seen anything of the managers yet. Be interesting. If we see anything, it'll be pretty darn soon. Oh, Satfield shrugging off the drop kick. It's caught by another whip to the corner, though, again. Can Cocky do better this time? Yes, lands it. Second time lucky. But Stomping no. the mud hole. No, uh, no tag available, though, is there? Moradam is just completely Right obliterated. in the corner. Oh, the rope. Oh, grabs the rope, but the ref sees it. Wow. Wow. Great oh. ring awareness from Satfield there, saving his own hide. Yeah, very Cocky, rare occurrence they... in the JFW, that, isn't it? Certainly, certainly is. Our refs are normally far more incompetent than noticing that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, Cocky took a breather, but for too long, sat filled with a shoulder tackle takedown. And Cocky in the snacker's corner. Horadam just about getting to his feet finally, and Cocky with a reversal. Oh, wow. but nobody's there to tag. He wants the tag, Jim, but he can't make it. Oh, wow. Woo! 
<laughs> yeah, what a job. <laughs> if there, I don't know if there is somebody called Ric Flair in this universe, but if there is, he'd be proud of that one. <laughs> he certainly would. All right, working over the arm, wearing down Satterfield. They've started to make inroads now, for sure. CBT, it took them a while. They did the two massive low blows to J5. And they've kept Satterfield in the ring and worked him over a little bit. But he's coming up now. Kick to the face. Oh, but I mean, Pocky look at Moradon. He's quick. hanging still, isn't he, on the outside? Moradon's yeah. really feeling it. I really don't know if the tag would be wise for Cocky, but he's been in there a long time. It's a, it's a tough one, Jim. They need to find the win, basically. But they cut off the tag to Satterfield. Cocky's feeling it, but Satterfield undoubtedly is as well. Oh, oh God, here we oh. go. J5 might have to save the day. No! Yes! No, sorry, <laughs> right to the eyes lands, and there's the kick. J5. Or the speed of Moradam. Moradam's got him. It's over, Jim. They've done oh, it again. No! <laughs> Through two and nine tenths. What the heck? How did Satterfield get out of that? Jesus. J5 is gone, but Satterfield going to try and win it by himself. Oh, 400 pounds on Cocky's chest. <laughs> oh, God, the knee again. Oh, no. It's all down to Moradam. Oh, oh he's dodged it. What a dodge. Oh, no, he got him anyway. <laughs> Cocky doesn't know where he is. Oh, oh my, God. oh, my word. Cocky getting absolutely demolished by the kicks of Satterfield. Absolute athleticism. You wouldn't think it. <laughs> this is the right hand. And Moradam distracting. Oh, busted open. Busted open and slammed into the corner by the shin oh, of Satfield. And oh, look at this, Jim. God. Oh, he's died. No, he's going for the tag. No, I couldn't get there. Couldn't get past Satfield's girth. No, no chance. Oh, Sheila's doing us walking in circles. They've got no chance now. <laughs> this is gonna. <laughs> this is gonna rally cocky. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> oh, oh, oh man. Satterfield taking a long moment to have a breather or two, but Cocky's just got nothing left. Absolutely. <laughs> he needs to tag Moradam now. It doesn't matter how much damage Moradam took. They need Moradam in the ring because Cocky's got nothing. Oh, yeah, he's really gone now. Look at this. The second snack mass. Oh, God. Oh, no. Annihilates Moradam. him really it's close right to J5. Right next to J5. J5 surely intercepts. Missed no. Him. Oh, my goodness. Moradam too small. He ducked underneath J5. <laughs> and right at the last second, made the save. Goodness me. The thing is, Cocky's just gone. Oh, my, oh my <laughs> word, Jim. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen Santa do that before. How does a man of his size pull off that maneuver? They deserve the win. That's Ooh. it, Jim, and it should be. It's got to be. What on earth? Obviously, Cocky heard about, you know, saw the what, the previous two matches backstage and thought, not on my watch, we're not going to get a third one. <laughs> no. Oh. Yep, this has been a classic. Just what Monday Night Claw needed after the squashes. <laughs> yep. Elbow to the gut, somehow. Cocky fighting back. Nobody in his corner. Oh my goodness! Oh, Kyle Reiner! Oh. Lands it! Lands it! Oh my god. Does J5 have to save? He's not even trying. Oh! <laughs> Blood streaming down Cocky's face. But you know what we say, Jim. They're always the underdog CBT, and yet they always find a way. It they're, just seems impossible. They're incredible, aren't they? And also, Jim, I do think maybe the sugar crash happened there. <laughs> maybe. It was a bit of a rope and top, wasn't it? Cocky just got destroyed for so long. <laughs> but Santa was tired. Yep. Unbelievable. Maybe Moradan was still feeling the effects of that. And are we going to see the other one? And this. Ooh. I think maybe that's why J5 didn't make the save there, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go near that guy ever again if that had happened to me. <laughs> Absolutely. CBT are back. Boy, Good howdy. luck stopping them. Legends. You know what would be the hard count to CBT, Jim? A female tag team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only we could have them. Maybe, maybe I could look into modding and see if we can have that, actually. That's something to think about with the 2K19. Let's see what I can do. Look at the blood on the face of Cocky. Goodness Whoa. me.
Absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. Wow. Now we've got two classic, two classic competitors for the singles. We've got the uh, world heavyweight champion contender Clavius taking on the stalwart of the JFW, the veteran Squirrel Dude. This reminds me of world Wow, class. yeah, what a, what a Back treat. In the I mean, these two legends. Incredibly long time uh, JFW wrestlers and both with uh, great achievements in the past. Yeah. But which one of them can become relevant in the uh, in the modern day JFW? Let's find out. Yeah, I think these were two of the uh, now defunct uh, Chaos Chosen Championship. I believe they both held. Wow. And, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty great, isn't it? Should be a banger. Scroll dude, amazing technical wrestler. Clavius, of course, can always bust out the Arcleo out of nowhere. It is very old school, yeah, attention is. Someone sub to Dimmy. Clavius back. He was out for a long time, but he's back with his ears and his eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> he's back and he's as good as ever, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. But what, a, what a tall order, Squirrel Dude. Yeah, this is absolutely a test. Worst entrance music ever, you lunatic, Jackpo. Yeah, like everyone's like, it's literally the best. <laughs> there you go. As a, as a connoisseur of rock singers, that vocalist is insanely good. There you go. How old are you? This is a great entrance overall. <laughs> Talking and going for nuts. Here is Squirrel Dude. Whoa. What timing if one of these was to get on a roll just before WrestleMania? Yeah. You know what, Joe? I just got this nagging question. Every time I see a different wrestler, I'm like, are you mystery? E? Are you already the world champion? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll have been Dimmy. The wow was enough. The wow was a big enough tell. I'm pretty sure Dimmy's a big fan of Edge Music. Do you think Mr. E could actually oh, have fun? <laughs> maybe, maybe if he fits him in the in the bag, yeah, maybe. Maybe Mr. E could fit them in the bag. You never know. Dimmy the champ. <laughs> Boy howdy, what a match. Oh ho, Clavius no messing around, he wants this bad. Instant. He didn't come back for no reason. <laughs> he wants to make a mark, he wants to make a name for himself, he wants to be king of the mountain in the JFW. And right now, he is doing everything he can to get past the next hurdle, Squirrel Dude. Yep. <laughs> Chat crimes. <laughs> oh, here comes Squirrel Dude, though. You don't get a squash match against him. He lies down for no man. Yep. Oof. Flying Squirrel Knee. <laughs> Look at the speed of Squirrel Dude. Just immediately cutting off any sort of comeback from Clavius there with the chop. Incredibly quick. Yeah, this is... Oof. Clavius gets out of the way of that flying move. He's almost like a plim plom plus weight squirrel, isn't he? Just with the weight of a heavyweight. 
Yeah, he is really, yeah. Very, very light. Bit reminiscent of AJ Styles, who I believe did train him mostly, so, you know, he's not he's not ah. that big, but very effective. Half Boston Crab Jim, the half crab, oh. the most devastating submission in the JFW. Amazingly, Clavius escapes. <laughs> Nothing is as dangerous as the devastating half crab. <laughs> Early pin does get a one count. It's been incredibly high octane so far. Oh Very good one. <laughs> Clavius can't believe it, but uh, I think he should do, because he hasn't done that much yet. Yeah, maybe a little overconfident going into this on how quick he'd be able to get this done. Maybe thinking Squirrel Dude might be a little rusty. Oh, Squirrel Dude with a sneaky submission. Four. Yeah, you, un you underestimate Squirrel Dude at your peril, don't you? He is... He's an absolute very, very legend. much so. On his day, capable of winning absolutely any match. We've seen him lose some classics. We did just that once see him go down to uh, Demon Prince Rick Reckless surprisingly <laughs> fast. But uh, for the most part, he is an incredible competitor and he's had some incredible victories. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that's when we hoped Demon R Prince Rick would actually win some other matches as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was the uh, the promising start of a terrible career. <laughs> oh man, trying to pull off his uh, his nose there. I think he thought it was a mask, but it is of course Squirrel Dude's real face. Looking over the arm really nicely here, Clavius. I don't think that's going to get in the win, but nice to try again. Oh, nearly got a two count. That's some good progress. Clavius will be pleased. Oh, Squirrel Dude, though. No sells the kick. Does get caught by a whip, though. The speed of Clavius the last few minutes has been pretty impressive, actually. A couple of times I thought maybe Squirrel Dude would get in there first. And Clavius cutting him off this time. And the punches from the top rope. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, Squirrel Dude powering out, though. Yeah, I rarely see that. Oh, oh. Into a neck break again, though. Look at the speed. Clavius caught him first, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's sneaky quick as Clavius. Oh, here we oh go. Goodness. Vintage Clavius. <laughs> oh, bust him open. And if you ever questioned, squirrels bleed red. There we go. <laughs> Except for great squirrels. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Clavius having a bit of a paddy and Squirrel Dude getting to his feet. Oh, oh! Oh, oh Cleo! Oh. That's gotta Look be it. Look at the blood on Squirrel Dude! No! Unbelievable kick out. Now Clavius could be in confused and the jawbreaker with a mouthful of blood, but he dodges the drop kick. Uppercut from Clavius. Squirrel Dude still in all sorts of trouble. Huge uppercut from Clavius. He's tired from all the beatings he's given. Squirrel Dude <laughs> desperately rolls to the outside. Clavius soaking in the fans' applause. And he joins him. Squirrel mm. Dude desperately just running away to him. He's scared. <laughs> yeah, Clavius soaking in the fans' applause and, and Squirrel Dude just soaking in blood, isn't he? The, what, my God, he's just wearing a crimson mask there. This is horrendous, and, horrendous and bleeding from Squirrel Dude. Just knocked unconscious. I think that's it. Oh, he's got the rope again! Rest missed it, Jim! The rest missed it! <laughs> rest missed it! <laughs> oh, no! We, we had it early. We actually had a competent referee earlier, Jim. But <laughs> broke it up in exactly this moment. And now we're back on form. <laughs> terrible, terrible JFW refereeing. And we're, we've got a third squash match in a, uh, out of four. We really should have had more from this one. Squirrel Dude is going to be devastated, and rightly so. Wow. Well, he's, he's not mad at Clavius, just the ref. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't blame your opponent unless you suspect shenanigans. Yeah. And obviously, obviously, Skrull, a vet and, and, you know, happy with his opponents there. Friendly ending. Love to see it. We do, we do like to see a happy ending. 
Right, now we've got a uh, a fatal four-way blitz pit match. So knockouts are on in this. This Somebody may be eliminated. It's a f fatal four-way elimination match. Somebody may be eliminated early uh, via knockout. They are on for this match because it is blitz pit, see? And we've got four ah. representatives from the coming weekend's teams. We've got the Bread Mask from Team Whales, Dionysian from Roxette, Elliot from Sex Skulls, and Kefur from Team Wales. There you go. Wow, fantastic. What uh, what incredible four competitors. Will we get our first taste of how Blitzpit is going to go? And yeah, the ref's on alert that uh, they might need to, to eliminate somebody themselves if they feel that they've taken too much damage in the match. Yeah. And, and Jim, I don't, I don't hate that. I don't want to see wrestlers putting their lives on the line on Monday Night Claw. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, Jackball. What, what's wrong with you? You really are looking for a fight here, Jackball. <laughs> uh, uh, Jackball looking for his next his next uh, grudge match, I think, in the JFW. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Here we are, the sniper. But he's, he's got a contender for the sniper now, hasn't he, with Elyon? You know, no stranger to getting up at 3 a.m. To, to, to take on Necronome. <laughs> well, yeah, and, uh, and and Dimmy acknowledging that he sniped Elliot the other day. So I, I don't know what's got into the waters in Blood Bowl 2 streaming, Jim, but everybody's at it at the moment. I am actually away training for his running at the moment, so uh, we haven't seen him on the ladder for a, for a week or so. He'll obviously be back for Blitzbit, but uh, nice of him to take time out of that schedule for this match. Yeah. I'd have to make Necronome first kill, and there's limited slots, right, with the, to make the game work, unfortunately, because they tell you, they tell you that you've got 3,815 megabytes of space, but you've actually only got 200 in 2K19 and 100 in 2K22. It's like when the internet providers tell you that uh, your your internet has speeds of 30 MB a second and then it, you're downloading at 0 0.2. Yes. Yeah, exactly. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's glorious, isn't it, Mopla? So Dionysian, of, of course, his teammates are Terrific and Cruz, so an incredible team there. <laughs> Not as good as this man's, baby. Oh, baby. St. Patrick's Day in a few days, isn't it? Good point. I'm in the south of France for St. Patrick's Day. Do they celebrate it there, Jim? I've got no Why idea. Time is badly? Maybe you have timed it badly, yeah. <laughs> you can do your own tribute, can't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds good. And Elliot is with Ek, I believe, and Space Cadet with his, his Blitz Pit team. Is that correct? It certainly is. Space Cadet has taken Norse, so good luck to uh, to any gyms that might be playing in Blitz Pit. Well, they, they might be playing them at some point, but let's hope if they do that uh, that, that Jim can win. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so if they are to play. <laughs> <laughs> and he is probably the biggest controversy of Blitzpit. Uh, the bread mask was signed up by Skura Mezzo and Johnny Five <laughs> for Team Wales, but he left them to join the other Team Wales, <laughs> which is as it hot. And Flicky Fleck. So, well, or Dr. Wow. and Flicky Fleck. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> makes, yep. uh, makes our JFW storylines <laughs> live in shame compared to that, Jim. It sure does. <laughs> and yeah, that's a very good point by Muppet, that, that Jim may not need to win a single match to, to, to win Blitzpit, being on PTK and PC's team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know how Jim doesn't like to play Blood Bowl? Why, why should he? <laughs> there he is. Prime time! 
Kevin, or past tense K Fog, take your pick. What an absolute legend of Blood Bowl. Yeah, other people have actually been enjoying winning things, Jim, and it's all over because he's back. Um, <laughs> PTK, the absolute master of disaster in Blood Bowl, is back playing Blood Bowl. He's back loving it after a, a, a much deserved break. Oh, I just love and his that. face. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, something else he loves is that, and he never fell out of love with, is the JFW. He loves being in this ring, Jim. He loves the fans. He loves the wrestling. He loves his teammates. Cool. And he loves a good scrap. <laughs> yeah, Shambitat. Tom Schnees willingly joined Flicky Flag's team. Unbelievable. <laughs> I bet he doesn't hate Edge, Jack Bull. <laughs> K-Fog is a lovely fella. Only a complete deranged lunatic would hate Edge. <laughs> and I guess Matt Hardy. <laughs> was it Matt Hardy? <laughs> Probably. It was Matt Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what a power slam. Will he get an instant elimination? No. Oh, he likes to take his time and stall till turn eight, does PTK. He sure does. Not it's afraid to score early sometimes, though. When he has to, he's he's very aggressive when he has to be careful. Yeah, true. Just a complete master. Oh, God. One of the red mask. Getting manhandled by Dio on the outside. And Elliot so far being completely destroyed by PTK. <laughs> this is too very one-sided. Oh, but the Bread Mask managing to toss off Dio. <laughs> yeah. I mean, k versus Elliot seems a bit unfair, doesn't it? You could imagine that that Elliot and Space Cadet could, could, you know, both team up together and, like, you know, fit inside PTK's attire. <laughs> oh, self rock bottom by Elliot, though. Yeah, wow. it did take all three of them to beat the live games last week, didn't it? That was actually a pretty close match. Yeah, it was. Elliot using his speed to dodge the kick of PTK. And whips him onto the apron, but then ignores him. Oh, Elliot, no. Oh, well, there, no, there we go. There is no DQ here, so, you know, he could have been thinking about going for a weapon there, Elliot. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see it, but he's uh, so far using his speed and agility to turn that around. Dio has continued to absolutely destroy LeBred Mask. That might be our first elimination right there, Jim. Could be? No. no instant kick out. Oh. You get a two count and look at that from PTK. Poor the bread mask getting it from everybody. <laughs> yeah, normally that happens on Fridays, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot busted open. I might, I might have missed seeing that, but I thought I saw blood trickling mm. down the face of Elliot there. Oh, God, it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, wow. Dial really is taking it to Tom Schnees here. Well, the bread he, mask. He Honestly, other than whipping uh, Dio away for a moment, Thompson is basically not got a move in. Here we go. Oh, amazing spinning heel kick. This could be his moment. And look at Elliot. Oh, my God. Tilt to all arm drag and then counters the charge with a kick and just throwing in the right hands and the left hands and the chops. Ooh. Can't get him off his feet, though. Come on, Elliot. One more go. Oh, he ran out of breath. He literally ran out of breath. <laughs> oh. oh, he's been tossed off by k Fog though. An awful lot of that going on in this match, Jim. <laughs> yep. I bring in uh, the bread mask back into the ring and then clamping on a, a kind of half camel clutch, but PTK breaking it up. This is elimination, Jim. He doesn't need to break them up. No, he doesn't know. I just think it's just natural competitive instinct just to go over there for a second. Might want to, uh, might want to get all the eliminations himself. Maybe. Put that past PTK. For him winning a winning a fatal four way is too easy, isn't he? He's got to, he's got to give oh. himself his own little challenge. Wow, no, you're saving the bread mask. What's going on, Jim? Are you sure this is elimination? I am sure. I just think that I just think they're happy. You know, too happy to beat up the other opponents is the problem. Wow. You know, Dio just Might saw somebody with his back turned, defenseless, and he just had to snipe him, didn't he? That was it. You just thought this looks like someone who's in the middle of a 24 hour stream. <laughs> Drink like out the of his old, uh, with goblins. Scorpion getting a ride across the river tail, I guess. Oh, oh, PTK! Oh. 
Ryo oh, in a world him. of pain as Lebredmask takes out Elliot. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Dio. <laughs> he gets hammered by K Fog and then in comes Lebred Mask for the Plim Plom Plex. Wow. Unbelievable. After all that Dio did. Oh, but then oh. PTK preventing the uh, the pin. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, P. Oh, it's the PTK oh. bomb. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's toast. <laughs> He hasn't knocked him out. Oh my god. Good call Absolutely from the ref. Brutal. I like that. The bread mask had taken an insane amount of punishment from Dio and then from PTK. Definitely the right call. Dio with a pit with a plim plum plex. Unbelievable. And then the backbreaker to Elliot. He's got both men down. Kful desperately trying to get himself back onto his feet. Uppercut to Dio from Elliot. <laughs> oh, there comes PTK! Old rivals in Blood Bowl, of course, PTK and Dio competed against each other for many, many titles over the years. Yeah, two of the two of the greatest of all time, aren't they, really? Yeah, PTK and Dio, incredible. Incredible minds. Mm -hmm. Certainly are. Yeah. And when you look at Dio's face, it's a good job he's got an, uh, a beautiful mind, Jim. <laughs> Stunners PTK onto the concrete. <laughs> Elliot, baby, getting rowdy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Elliot. The Bro. ref could call this. Oof. Survives. Saying, oh, my God. Oh, my word. PTK on a rampage. Yeah, this is a very impressive stuff from PTK. Oh. Fire rolls through, though. And then turns his attention to Elliot, but PTK coming up behind him. Side rush and leg sweep onto the concrete. And Elliot misses. Oh, my oh no, God. Elliot. Oh, this could oh, be no. it. Oh. 23 oh, feet of concrete. Says he's okay. To be fair, the bread mask really did take far more punishment than anyone else in those opening exchanges. So I yeah. do agree with the ref so far. I wouldn't give Elliot too much longer, though. I think Elliot needs to get a move on. And this is the right way to do it. Absolutely peppering PTK with the rights. Oh and then my slams God. him into the rig pose. Oh, my God. Oh, you're the only one standing right now. <laughs> oh, look at him getting rowdy, Jim. <laughs> Oh, baby. 50 oh. more games of Nurgle. Here we go. <laughs> He's just warming up. Oh, What's no. <laughs> oh. Slam chest first into the apron. And PTK's got plans for him as well. Dio just dumps him straight back down. No, <laughs> double book crossbody. Uh-oh. Oh. Wow. German suplex destroying Dio there. But he comes back with the uh, arm breaker. Elliot amazingly recovered already. I thought we'd seen the last of him for a while. I mean, Elliot, he's, he's just built up that punch resistance by going in first for quad skulls every round, hasn't he? he does, <laughs> oh, my God. Un unbelievable stamina. Now he's out. Now he rolls to the outside. And Dio, double underhook, DDT. Yeah. Dirty Reminiscent deeds. of Mankind and Cactus Jack and Dude Love, and that could be it for PTK. He's got him. It is. Yeah. He's got him. It's, it's oh, Dio man. versus Elliot. Oh man. Dio angrily summoning him to the ring, but it isn't happening, so he goes to the outside to do it himself. <laughs> yep, you can summon him all you like when, when he can't stand. <laughs> oh my word, it's, it's like watching ducky fouls. This is devastating. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no, Jim. This can't be good. Oof. Into the Spanish announce table. Oh, no. And again. Oh! And, uh, watch out for me. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot with a desperation kick to the shin. And what a right mm. hand. Elliot really has a badass right hand on him. It does, yeah, somehow. Feeds him mm. into the apron. Elliot somehow still scrapping here. Yeah, whilst Elliot's had the worst of it, they've, they've both been at this a long time now, both taking a lot of punishment. This could be anybody's. If Elliot can find something big, 
<laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. He gets the cover quite fast off it for having to get into the ring. Yeah, this is pretty rapid. No. Oh. Proves, though, that Dio is ready to go. Primed and ready. <laughs> Just needs to push him over the edge. Oh, nice DDT. How much longer is the ref going to allow this to go? No. Oh, maybe, Jim! Maybe not much longer. <laughs> It's the rowdy so lock. Rock bottom. Oh no! Oh instant no! Go! Instant go! Couldn't lock in the rowdy lock after the self rock bottom, but there's a counter elbow. Elliot not out of it yet, and here it is again. Oh. Busts him open. Self rock oh, bottom. Dio can't believe it. <laughs> not the face, he says. Anything but the face. <laughs> oh, Elliot's cheating. He's cheating like he snipes. Oh, oh. Tayo kicks out. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, which is the sniper and which is the snipey in this situation? <laughs> it's, it's hard to say, Jim. It's really hard to say. Who, who had the counter team, I guess? <laughs> oh, look at this. Tayo Oof. down. He looks out, Jim. But Elliot, too tired to cover. Oh, man. Dio bleeding profusely now, but, yeah. but pops back up to his feet. <laughs> the equity. Oh no, another DDT. He missed with the right hand. Elliot ducked underneath, spun around, landed the DDT. Still doesn't want to go for the pin. Oh man, Equ equity falling for Dio right now. <laughs> Certainly is, Jim. This looks bad. This looks really bad. DDT again. Ooh. Just wants more and more blood extracted from Dio. Wants to cover that face as much as he possibly can. <laughs> Neck breaker. Can he rowdy lock? No, he thinks he's done enough. He might well have done. Unbelievable the ref's letting this go. Oh, boy. <laughs> he's Nurgle. feeling it. Nurgle has changed Elliot, yeah. And there's something altogether more disturbing. <laughs> Oh boy. oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's it. That's it. Knocked him out. The wow. ref's called it. It was about time too, Jim. Unbelievable. Hanging in there. It's just what he does best, isn't it? Elliot, you just can't put him away. You can beat him. You can burn him. You can break him. But you can't finish him. <laughs> and wow. Is that an indication of what is going to happen this coming weekend at Blitz Pit? Almost definitely not, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> Don't say it's over. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Here is your winner, Rowdy. Rowdy, what a performance. Keep your eyes on that ball sack. <laughs> He found himself oh, in more baby. than a bit of a pickle, didn't he? That was that was unbelievable comeback. Absolutely amazing. Once again, Quad Skulls standing tall, Jim. How many weeks are we going to see this? Yeah, I mean, they won all their matches, didn't they, last week? And then they were in one this week and they win again. Outrageous, outrageous stuff from Quad Skulls. Incredible. What a role they are on. But can this man end it at WrestleMania? Goliath Games, winner of the Royal Rumble, now takes on Skuro Metso, the temporary <laughs> um, champion. <laughs> he did dethrone Rick, didn't he, in the, uh, in the elimination chamber? Well, seeing is believing, Jim. I'm just waiting for Jack Ball to intercept him backstage. <laughs> That's true. Who knows? Who knows? We haven't, you know... Rick hasn't been scheduled, but maybe he is lurking backstage. Maybe Jack Ball is... Maybe Space Cadet is, who knows? But we might just see yeah. this match. Absolutely uh, incredible match of this. Goliath Games, the challenger to Rick's title at WrestleMania. Rick not happy about it. And the man that Rick beat for it uh, in a glorious victory, Skurometso, the 24-hour champion. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's a bit like the Kane of the JFW. Kane, for years and years and years, had won one title and held it for 24 hours. He beat, uh, beat Austin at, yeah. uh, at Back for Blood or Bad Blood, something like that. Yeah. And then the next night on Raw, lost the title right back in. Yeah, he won, he won it by mistake, didn't he? Because it, it was it was, it was a, a first, first blood match. First yeah. blood match, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then once it went wrong, they were like, "Well, shit, we can't just we can't just not end it. <laughs> We've got to make him champ." He just <laughs> he just opened him up the hard way by accident. <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh boy, what a what a fine specimen of a man here. Phenomenal, Jim. I would. <laughs> Where is the squid? We all would. <laughs> and and honestly, I'm so excited for his match with Rick at uh, at WrestleMania. Kind of hoping Rick can deploy that um, that countout strategy that worked so well at Hammageddon. Yes, yeah, that was his. That was a way to beat like the. Uh, you know, it was kind of an unstoppable force versus a movable object, wasn't it? But that was the way. That was the way Rick got the job done. I mean, Goliath was on such an incredible run. He was red hot, wasn't he? Oh, it was yeah. ridiculous, Jim. He, for months and months, he beat all the incredible competitors of the JFW. Um, men almost equal to his size as well. He just physically dominated them. And it just seemed like it was never going to end. And it looked like he'd absolutely destroy Rick. And then Rick found a different way of getting it done. Yep. <laughs> what an entrance. <laughs> that's not to say I'll beat Skuro. No, Skuro is is a legend of his, in his own right, isn't he? I wonder where this leaves Skuro. Goliath Games rightly having the title shot due to his Royal Rumble victory at WrestleMania. That isn't going to change. But Skuro robbed of his own championship by the Quad Skulls. And now if he beats the number one contender as well, where does that leave Skuro, Jim? Well, exactly, yeah. It's it's very exciting, isn't it? I think that was the point of this this uh, this week's matches, you know? Like, try and, you know, see if the, a spanner will be thrown in the works. So far, no, right? Hancock won in dominant style. Clavius won in dominant style as well. Though, a bit of controversy with the referee. That was. Know, will Goliath be able to see off the challenger Skuro? Skuro. Skuro isn't the world champion, of course. Might have pulled double duty at uh, Elimination Chamber. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Who knows? Even more impressive if that is the case. Rob. I mean, he was being fair and square in the ring, but he wasn't a full body cast after being constantly assaulted backstage. <laughs> yeah, finally, a rare appearance for Skuro Metso in the middle of the ring. I think that's just what you call a fighting champion, isn't it, Jim? No. <laughs> you call it dastardly, cowardly, despicable tactics from Quad Schools is what you call it. Outrageous. What would Jimmy do? <laughs> oh, oh, what a start from Goliath Games. This is a weird one for Skuro. As skilled and as tough as he is, he is not used to being manhandled with ease. And I think that will be the case here. He's got to find a different way of doing it. And taking Goliath Games off his feet is always a good start. Oh, man. Yeah, Nick. Right, like, but he's got to keep him there. And he doesn't. Oof. Anything you can do, I can do better, says Goliath Games. You do not want him standing over you. This is a nightmare right now for Skurametso. Oh my oh. goodness, backbreaker. <laughs> wow, Skuro grappling to try and get the upper hand, but Goliath misses, but tosses Skuro onto the apron anyway. <laughs> oh! The disrespect, and look at him! <laughs> Look at him just throwing with him, Jim. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Skuro being treated like a child. Oh, my word. I mean, the size difference is outrageous, isn't it? And look at him. 
look at the right hand exchange. Glam Games didn't take a step backwards and Skuro collapsed into the corner. This is awful. Oh no. Skuro right now might be glad that he's not the champion and he's not facing this man at WrestleMania. And Rick might be thinking, what have I done? <laughs> yeah. He's probably thinking, flip me guys. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to be fighting this guy. Oh my God, again. <laughs> the BM, the BM from Goliath. <laughs> Guru just about beating him to the punch there, and he desperately needed to, and a hip toss. Nice. Wow. Good agility from Skuro. I mean, I guess that's what he's got to use. He's... Oh! <laughs> His PC I... loves to say, are you the elf or are you the orc? He's certainly not the orc in this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and uh, brilliantly using his speed there to jab Goliath Games because Goliath Games just won't stay down. Oh my goodness, destroys him. <laughs> Runs him over. Oh You'd rather be hit by a car. Oh, oh no, seven God. feet up and seven feet down with 500 pounds coming down on top of you. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, he moves out of the way. Thank God, or he might not longer any longer be with us. <laughs> Close line into the corner. This is nice from Scar. This is exactly what he needs. Yep. Can he wear down Goliath? That is that is his advantage in this matchup. Uh, Skurmetto in chat. Hello. Very famous for his his uh, his cardio, isn't he, Skur? You know, very able to run up and down mountains. You know, that's so. Uh, the longer this match goes. Skuro may, may find a way into the match. I I completely I completely agree, Jim. And right now he is managing to stretch it out a bit longer. Dastardly use of the ropes, but the ref lets it go. Goliath Games trying to recover. Skuro loving it in the corner. Should maybe be concentrating on his opponent. <laughs> Goliath Games recovered now. Misses with the left. Skuro's bouncing off the chest of Goliath Games oh. and he's tossed across the ring. As if he's a rag doll. Oh no! Shouldn't have let up even for a second. Oh! That left arm's not going to work properly for a long, long time and then choked out. Oh Getting his God. weight behind the choke there. <laughs> yes, Randy, yes. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness God. me. Oh, great escape from Skuro. <laughs> I don't know how he's recovered so quickly. DDT gets it. Oh, man. Life Games <laughs> desperately dragging himself to his feet. Stunned from the DDT still, and the right hand's oh, actually getting him down. Oh. Reverses the whip, but no! Oh, the knee! The face buster. Brutal. Wow. Oh, Goliath look at back Life Games. instantly. And then just powers through as if Skrull isn't even there. He just doesn't catch him. <laughs> <laughs> look at how much he loves this. <laughs> 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 Those boots just devastated. Oh, Skuro. Oh, mate. Cranking the head like only Goliath Games can. I wouldn't be surprised if it came off. <laughs> yeah. That could be it. It could be. Oh, wow. 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 Well, Skuro is a man scorned, Jim. <laughs> It took him two years to finally win a title and then had it robbed away from him 24 hours later. He's not going to just lie down and uh, walk away from the title picture without every little bit of fight that he's got. Now that he's finally recovered from those injuries two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, oh here it is. Can he get him up? He can. Oh. The strength of Skuro. Hands off. He could have this. Oh Unbelievable. Oh. Only a two count, but Skuro definitely in this fight could beat Goliath Games in a straight fair fight. We haven't seen anybody do that in about a year. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. It's what Rick's got to try and do at WrestleMania. Nice side headlock from Skuro. My God, Goliath when, Games could pass out. When Goliath was sat down, he was still about the same size as a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> what a monster of a man! Here comes Goliath Games. Not going to take this lying down, but a lovely whip by Squirrel. Goliath Games dodges oh. out of the way. Go for a weapon. 
can't surely. It's clearing oh, his head. No. Clearing his head. Skuro did a lot of damage. Skuro the quicker man. Look at the, what the right hands are doing now compared to at the start. At the start they were bouncing off him. Now they're flooring him. Four floors and again. Skuro has definitely lasted out. The worst part of this match, like you said, Jim. Oh, the counter right hand though. Oh, Goliath's back in the ring. Thank God we're not going to have a rubbish count out. Oh no, he's taunting too much. <laughs> Maybe overconfidence <laughs> it, from Goliath. It is always a weak point of Goliath Games' uh, arsenal is that he does love to play to the fans. <laughs> Fair play for enjoying himself, but it might have cost him here. Ref taking an age to get around Goliath Games. I guess I understand why. Oh, it's still a two count, though. And he's not <laughs> moving, Jim. <laughs> You can almost hear Skuro say, come on! <laughs> to the ref. Oh! Uh -oh. Uh oh! Oh! And everything before no longer matters. Oh, God. GG. That's got to be it. Great That's effort from Skuro. It. But you just don't beat Goliath Games. <laughs> wow! Wow, Jim. How is Rick going to survive this? I don't know if he is. Boy, howdy, what a match. What absolute dominance from, consistent dominance from Goliath, isn't it? Incredible. How it, does it really anyone is. beat him in a one-on-one -on -one matchup? One-on-one, -on -one, in the ring, nobody is in his league. Yeah. He's, he's just physically ahead of everybody else. You know you have Plim Plum Blues away and Heavyweight? You need a new weight division for Goliath Games, really, because he's, he's just too immense for anybody. And he's so athletic with it. And he's so efficient with it. And he doesn't he doesn't really run out of stamina. He doesn't get more tired than anybody else. He's just stronger, more powerful, more devastating, can absorb more damage. It just isn't fair. <laughs> it just isn't possible to enjoy a match against it. <laughs> it just isn't. Incredible. And it was a great and effort from Skuro. He's the Death Star. <laughs> yeah. What a, what a monster. Incredible. And he's going to Mania to take on Rick Reckless for the title. Whoa. What a night for the challenges. They all won in, in pretty dominant fashion. Really tough matchups. And that's all we've got for Monday Night Claw. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you so much, Rick, for the co-host, as always. Glorious stuff. Yeah, thank you so much, Jim. You're absolutely right. No controversy going into WrestleMania. The challengers completely proven why they are the challengers. And, uh, and just finally, uh, a shout out to the incredible wrestler and entertainer of the year, Scott Hall. And because uh, it, it does seem like it's the end of the road for him. I lost another legend that we all loved, entertained so many of us. Seemed like an incredible guy. Obviously had his troubles, but uh, was always a good person from all accounts uh, through all of that. And uh, yeah, sad to, sad to see him go. Yeah, absolutely. 100% agree. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.